Hey guys, now in this video, let's use Azure function as event handler when a new blob is uploaded. So basically our requirement is when new blob is uploaded, we should read this event details and we should trigger Azure function. So again guys, here we will be using system topic only. Now guys, I know we have discussed topic a few times in our earlier videos as well, but again, let's have a quick recap. So topic, it is some centralized place where events get published. So when event source generates the event, that event it gets published or it gets sent to the topic and our subscriber service subscribes to this topic only. So that means events, they get published to the topic and from topic, they, they become available to our subscribed service. Now topic it can be system topic or custom topic. So system topic means events which are generated from Azure resources. So for example, when a blob is uploaded or when a message arrives in service bus queue. So these are the events generated from Azure services. So such events they get published to system topic. So consider system topic as something by default topic. And then we can have custom topics. So custom topic means we can publish our own custom events to this custom topic. So for example, we can have our own custom c .NET application and from there we can publish custom events to this custom topic. Okay. So in this video, we will create Azure function in Visual Studio and obviously we will deploy it in Azure. Then we will add this Azure function as an event handler for blob uploaded action. So again, that means when a new blob is uploaded, this Azure function will get triggered and the information about this blob uploaded event, it will be available in this Azure function. And finally, of course, we will upload a blob and we will check if this Azure function gets triggered and we will see that this event information is available in this Azure function or not. And now let's go to the Visual Studio. So guys, we are in Visual Studio and here let's say create a new project. Let's select Azure functions. Next, let's give name. So I will say Azure function blob upload event grid trigger and let's say next. And guys, this is important. See this drop down. So from here, we have to select this option that is event grid trigger. So let's select it and let's say create and guys our function app is created. Now guys I will make one change. So instead of this cloud event I will say event grid event and here it will be event grid event and instead of this line I will say event type event subject and basically from this event grid event we are reading the event type and we are reading the event subject so basically this information it will get lost and that will confirm that when a blob is uploaded our azure function has been fired and we have received the information about that event as well in this azure function okay so now let's simply save this and let's deploy it in azure so right click i will say publish let's select target azure next azure function app windows next let's say create new so basically we are creating new function app and let's keep this default name and from this location drop down i will select is us and here let's say create and now here let's say finish and now here let's say publish and guys finally our function app has been published and let's quickly cross check in azure so here i will say function app 
and yes we can see the function app which we just published okay but guys now we want to but guys now we want this function app to get executed when a new blob is uploaded right so that means we have to add this function app as an event subscriber for blob uploaded event in the storage account right and let's do it so let's go to our storage account so we are in our storage account and here under search i will say event let's click on this events so again guys these are built in events that is it is it represents system topic now let's click on this event subscription now let's give name to this subscription so i will say blob upload to azure function and guys see this filter to event types so from this drop down we have to select this that is blob created okay and this is important that is endpoint type and obviously here we have to select azure function that means when a new blob is uploaded in the storage account this azure function it should get executed so let's select azure function and let's configure so let's select resource group and the function app that is the function which we just deployed in azure and let's keep rest of the things as default and here let's say confirm and here i will say create so it looks like we have successfully added this event subscription right so now let's go to our function app let's open our function app now in this function app let's open our function that is function 1 and guys see this it is our function 1 only and it should get triggered when a blob is uploaded right so let's click on these logs and it is connecting to app inside so basically whenever this function gets executed the related logs should get displayed over here okay now let's do one thing let's upload a blog and hopefully this function should get triggered and here we should be able to see the log okay so again we are back in our storage account and here containers my container and now let's upload a blog in this container so i'll say upload browse and now guys let's upload this hello world.txt and let's say upload and let's check our function one and you see this function one it got triggered and see the reason it says event grid trigger and guys observe this log it says event type is blob created and event subject is see this hello world.txt and this is the exact information we are logging in our function so if you see this see we are logging this event type and then event subject and thus it proves that that event that is blob uploaded event it became available in our azure function right and then we can write our custom logic in this azure function based on this triggered event so that's it guys thanks thanks for listening